Kenny Iko and of course I'm your host today, Bonnie Banks. You guys are listening to Next Level Podcast on Sky Level Media. So welcome in. It looks like we've got Kenny in here right now. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks good. for having me. Yes, yes, yes. We're glad to have you <laughs> on. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm your girl, Bonnie Banks. This is Next Level Podcast. So welcome, welcome in. We've got the talented Kenny Iko in. What's yes. going on? <laughs> so, hey, where are you right now? I'm actually home in Washington, D.C. Uh, oh, okay. Nice. Right nice. So what's, um, I guess, the quarantine like over there? Are you guys still shut down or? Uh, here is still pretty kind of shut down. We got a few restaurants doing like the outside thing. I don't know what they're going to do when it gets, now that it's getting colder, like the weather just like super did a drastic change this week. So that was, it, is weird. <laughs> I thought it was it's, just here in Atlanta because we're weird <laughs> like that. But nah, it's, I guess it's just, yeah, it's, it's cold. Today was cold. I had a long sleeve shirt on and everything. Yeah. I'm wearing a very <laughs> nice thick blazer. So I feel you. I feel you. So we like to do an icebreaker um, just so your fans can get to know you and kind of just warm up to the interview a little bit. Nothing too crazy, nothing too hard, okay? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so this one we like to call finish the sentence. So I'm going to have a sentence and the end of it's going to be left blank for you to finish it for us, okay? All right, let's get it. All right, here we go. <laughs> so you left your house at 1 a.m. because? A sneaky link. Oh, a <laughs> what what's your zodiac sign if I might ask? I'm an Aries. Mm, I see y'all sneaky. Y'all what about sh- you? I'm a Sagittarius. Yes, yes. Y'all sneak y'all quiet and sneaky too. That's what I don't like. <laughs> we um uh, we we out with we like real in your face with everything because we I think Aries we try to run things. That's our biggest problem. Yeah, my dad's an Aries, um, but he's really cool. So he's like okay. the cool Aries, you know. He's like me. I'm the I'm the chill one. I'm the chill one too. Yeah, but you'll go out for a little <laughs> sneaky rendezvous though. Yeah, I mean that's just you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. I'm not gonna judge you. All right. <laughs> the last time you were in the studio, you recorded. Uh, I was just in the studio yesterday. I did like an hour, or so I recorded two songs. One was a feature, and then one was a song for me. Okay, so do you mind if I ask what, who was the feature on the song? Oh, it's a dope up-and-coming artist that he's also based here. He's a rapper. His name is EK. Okay. So he's dope. So check him out. He's, yeah. Everything's going to be dope, yeah. Shout out Big Ups to EK for the feature, man. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the first time you were starstruck was? Woo. All right, so when I was in the group that I was in, we did this thing called, uh, it was Radio One's. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was in New York. And I got, we were in the dressing room and then Usher walked in the room and was like, oh, my bad, bro. I need to use the bathroom. Is that okay? I said, yes. And I lost my mind. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you asking us to use a rest? Bro, go. And then I like, when he was in the bathroom, I tried to sing like real loud so he could hear me. Then he came out. I was like, oh, you sound dope. I lost my mind, man. I, 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 I fell out when he left. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you try to do, he does like the little square moonwalk. You should have like hit one of them. Yes. yes. <laughs> one of I, was, them. I got, I froze up. I got stuck really bad. Well, you were starstruck, so. Yes. Yeah, star- <laughs> legendary, so I understand that one. That's yeah, cool. he's an icon, man. He's one of my favorites. Okay. All right, last one. If you had to sing on the spot for $1 million, what are you going to sing? Uh, I would sing... I would sing Versace on the floor. That's like one of my favorite songs to sing. And I just wish I wrote that song, wish I recorded it. <laughs> I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, see? That was it. Nice. That was not bad. I'm, I'm not sweating. <laughs> yes, yes. And we found out that Usher is your little starstruck. Um, Usher is my idol, man. Yeah, icon. I, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, you mentioned that uh, you were in a band before, uh, or a group, excuse me, not a band, because... No, that's different. <laughs> but you were in a group before. So what has it been like transitioning from being a solo, uh, like a group artist to being a solo artist? Um, it was it was hard at first, but I think since I was like the songwriter in the group and the one I was always in the studio and recording mm-hmm. and stuff, I feel like that process kind of only upgraded for me because now 
I didn't have the right thinking for two other people. I just had the right thinking about what I want to talk about, what I want to go through. And that's what I think my team, the directors, they helped me out get through that. Because at first I was writing like super bubblegum songs when I first started my solo stuff. And it was like, no, bro, now you need to talk about life. You need to talk about your shorties. You need to talk bro. about this, partying. And that's how like my EP War Love came out. And that's why I feel like you really get to know me when you listen to it. Nice. So would you say that it's easier to write just for yourself or is it kind of easier to write with the collaboration of people? I like to write by myself and then get in the room with other people that like help critique it. I'm not one of those artists that's it's my way or the highway. I like help. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I want to start it and get the vibe myself and then get help and add it on and stuff like that. Got it. Okay, nice, nice. Singer and songwriter. Yeah. Talented, multifaceted there. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't had a chance, make sure you guys check out everything. Um, your single that's out. Did you write that one on your own? Did you have some help with that one? I wrote that one on my own, but I also had help with my producer Chris. He uh okay. I wrote a whole nother song at first and it wasn't what everything turned out to be. So they was like, no, bro, this is He's, that was one of the songs at first that I wrote was like, he was like, nah, man, this beat, you need to be poetic. You need to really come hard and like really talk that talk. And I was like, all right. So I went back and started writing again and the masterpiece came to life. <laughs> I, I do enjoy the song. I love Thank you. your, your sound is so amazing. Um, Thank I've you. I've seen that people have compared you to Prince, Michael Jackson, Max, I mean, legendary sounds. How does that make you feel when you hear people say that? Honestly, like Michael Jackson is probably is the number one artist like I've ever lived up to. And then I mean of course Usher's right after. But he's like to even just be in the same sentence as him to me is like a blessing. Like I don't I don't think no one will ever live up to his caliber of music and creativity and stuff, but just to get a little piece of like, oh you you kinda sound like him. Oh, this reminds me of him is just a blessing. I love it. <laughs> Mm, nice nice yeah when I listened I was just like oh this definitely has a good mixture of of MJ and then I can hear yeah yeah both sneaking in sometimes <laughs> oh, I like this I like this yeah well, I enjoyed Thank that you. I, I thought that you did a good job too one of my favorite songs is Big Man it's, di it's very different so it makes it very diverse <laughs> and I That's think my is that the song. logo behind you <laughs> Is yeah, it is. It is, right? Uh, I posted, put it on my post posters on my walls and stuff oh. like that. <laughs> celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Yes. Yeah, I did. I did this artwork, so that's why I'm also proud of it. So oh, I like, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so are you, would you consider yourself kind of artsy in all aspects of creativity? I would like to think I am. Mm -hmm. I would say I am. Yeah, I like, I love to like just be creative. Like if you sit me in a room, I'm going to create something. I'm going to either write I can't draw that good, but I got ideas and I can get right. someone to draw it and put it together for me and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel that. I do feel that a lot. Um, you've had the opportunity to work with the likes of, uh, or tour with Trevor Jackson, also August Alsina. Um, yeah. Great, great artist there. What was that like? Before the entanglement. <laughs> well, yes, it's BT or BE before entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, August, August is like a definitely, he's like a real dope artist. Like he's really mm -hmm. about his craft and you could just learn from that. Just he at sound checks, he like really tuning in. Like I would say like uh, people I've seen like Patti LaBelle and them, how they are so hands-on with their music. And he was one of those type of guys and real laid back. And uh, who else? Tamar Braxton, she was definitely a I light. I ask you, cause you got to work with the Braxton. Yes, yes, yes. And she's not, she's, she's not, she's loud. <laughs> but she's like yeah. super super nice like she's not what people mm -hmm. I think claim her to be or think she will be like she's really nice yeah yeah I love you know I watched the Braxton's uh uh like the reality show I don't know if you ever kept up oh, with that <laughs> but I, I always know. thought it was interesting because it's like Tony Braxton had her time her musical era and now yeah. with us we get to see Tamar and have her as a part of our musical era so Thanks. I mean that's just dope to kind of see that you you know when your time is right and it's your time that shine, going. it comes together. So I like yeah that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. Um. So one thing that I did notice about you is that you like to wear the headbands. And yes, so, and 
The curls are gone right now. The curls, got the, yes, we got, didn't get the curls. We didn't get the curls. I, I got do, the breeze today. <laughs> I do have to ask you about your curl regimen because, um, you know, natural hair, I think your curls can sometimes get out of tack and just, but yours just seem to be glowing and popping and flourishing. So what's the secret? Shout out to my sister. She was, she gave me the idea to like just grow my hair out and let it just be curly and stuff. But it's this thing. The secret is, it's called Kinky Curly. I think they should sponsor me because that's all I use. Kinky Curly and then like leave-in conditioner with Cantu. Mm -hmm. And that, it just mm -hmm. does its thing last two, three weeks. I, I used Cantu and then I heard they weren't black owned and I got a little offended. So For real? Like, mm-hmm, then I. Oh, see. man. <laughs> so then I was like, mm, I might, you know, I'll finish up my little activator cream I got. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to trade over to Shea Moisture now. Are they? Yes, Shea yes, Moisture's black belt. Black belt. They're black belt. Right. Black belt. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I was actually going to ask you about doing a, 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 you know, like a branding or a um, merchandise launch of headbands because I think that you. Oh. Look. Give me a little, give me a little idea there. Thank you. I got, I got to give you your percent if I do it when I do it. Yeah, I, I ask for five percent off. The okay. Top, <laughs> yeah, I definitely would like to do that. Like, and definitely want to get into clothing designing and stuff like that too. So, mm -hmm. definitely headbands and then like clothes and things like that. That's dope. Yeah. So, what's next for you besides you do want to get into some fashion? But what's next? Can we expect some new songs? Any performances? Yes, um, I'm about to do a release a live version of everything, the song everything with a, just me and the piano singing live and things like that. And then also I got another single coming right after uh, with a video and it's going to be even sexier. Love it. Want it <laughs> back because you play the piano. No, I don't play the piano. Okay, I was so saying, just <laughs> the piano? Who I'm having somebody playing play? and nah, I wish. <laughs> I, know, I know like two songs on the piano. Okay, what's the two songs that you can play on the piano? I know the uh, <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> just that part okay. though. The do, 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 do. <laughs> that's definitely got it. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And then the Kanye song, the See, yeah. That and I always find it. Yeah, I always find something wrong. That's my shit. <laughs> do you know the um the two chains one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it go? Um, I feel like I gotta play it. Um. Man, but it's like that. It's the one little beat he had when he was playing it on the piano. I think it's like, mm. dun, 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 dun. man, I, it's like on the top of my tongue. It's, but I just remember two chains playing the piano, and I was like, that's that's crazy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that's uh, what dope. are some artists that you would want to work with in the future? Uh, in the future, I would love to work with Usher. I would love to. I mean, this is far fetched, but Beyonce. Uh, Rihanna, um, rapper wise, Drake and Nicki are my favorite two rappers. Yeah. And um, who else? Oh, Aria Lennox. I love her voice. I, like I think we would make a dope, dope R and B song together. And Summer Walker too. Summer Walker. It's a lot. <laughs> Just add them all. Yes, that's a good rap list. That's a very solid yeah. list. Um, it's the I'm different that he's playing on the piano. I'm different. Yeah, it's the. He plays it right at the beginning. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to make the sound. I'm different. It, yeah, I'm different. But I'm go back to like the beginning yeah. of the song where he's like doing the da, 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 da. like it's like that little piece, and he plays on the piano. Now I gotta find. Now I gotta look <laughs> it up. It's so funny. I cannot um, think of it. Yeah, but yeah, that'd be dope. I think I could definitely see you and Usher, of course. Um, you too. guys could do like a little dance. I was just about to say you could do like a little dance. So Usher, Chris Brown. Ooh. Mm. They're too different. They're the same, but they're so different. I love Chris Brown too. I, I forgot to say him. I love Chris Brown too. Uh, his music is just fire. He 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 don't he all he do is produce hits. So it's like him and Drake. Like, they don't him miss. him and Drake don't miss. There you go. They don't miss at they all. Miss what? But Usher that that confession album just puts him on a whole nother platform. That's what I was <laughs> telling people on the verses. That's what I was telling them. I was like, the one, the one album he could do. That one album just Period. sets him apart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where do you see your like? Where do you want your career to go? What are your goals as far as being an artist? My goal is to just keep creating music and to make timeless music. I want to be one of those artists that have music that can play years from now, like years from now, somebody talking about my album the way we talk about Usher's confession album. Thanks. So like, I want that. And then of course that comes with getting paid 
uh, having the world be able to hear my music and things like that. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, well, I hope to um hear your music coming up too. <laughs> I want to hear the one uh the feature with um what was his name E T K E K E K. Yeah. No, it was yes. K. It was no, it was K. <laughs> <laughs> you was close. <laughs> e K. So we want to hear that feature. Um, definitely want to see some new sexy music videos that you have coming out too. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all that. Awesome. So what's some advice that you would give? you know, upcoming artists that are just trying to break into the game, um, you know, be on tour with people like Trevor Jackson and, you know, of the likes of those. I would say always worry, make sure the business right first. Because mm. one thing I learned, even when I was in the group, is that things can come so quick and then you get lost. As an artist, you'll get lost into, oh, I'm recording, or oh, I'm doing shows, or oh, I got fans now. And things like that, then you forget, like, you're going to a meeting and you just worried about when you're going to hit lead to go to the show and you're not even paying attention in these meetings. And then you get, like, the wrong people around you telling you sign this, sign that. And then five, two years later, you're looking back like, dang, I ain't make no money from this. <laughs> I make no money. And, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't so that's, from I've, these documentaries, definitely pay attention to those contracts. Yeah, and we and the crazy thing, we watched the documentaries and we still we still messed up. Messed up, yeah. So definitely pay attention to the business side of things and listen to your thought. Listen to yourself mm. first. Mm. Listen to yourself first and what you want to do. Always make sure it's doing it's what you want to do. That's yeah, what I would say. a lot of artists too. You know, we hear about Mega Stallion, we hear about Cardi, and they're dealing with their their labels and just mm -hmm. the contract aspect. How hard do you feel like it is though as an artist when it's kind of like it. they promise you money up front or whatever the case may be, but you actually don't see those down the line or you end up producing more money for the label. Facts. Uh, I think that just comes down to you just being confident and securing your talent and knowing that if they did pressure you and you say, okay, I'm walking, you can walk into something better and not just think that this is all you got, this is the only chance you got, and you have to just deal with whatever they give you or whatever they say. You got to have faith in your, your, your skills. And your grind. Yeah, period. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kenny, well, we appreciate you coming on Next Level Podcast. It was dope catching Thank the you. with you. Um, if you have any last words that you want to leave with us, please feel free. Oh, thank you guys for having me. Make sure you guys check out my new single, Everything That's Out on all music platforms. Uh, the music video is out too on YouTube and Vivo. And follow me at I am Kenny Ico or go to my website, www.kennyico.com. And mm. merch coming soon. And Head merch down. coming soon. Headbands, uh, hair products. I, all, don't. All. <laughs> so I <was> about to <laughs> Period. I love it. Okay, Kenny, thank you. We're going to, you know, see you off with your everything music, of course. So you guys can jam, stream that on all platforms. Yes, yes, yes. And everything like that. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you for having me. Thanks. <laughs> All right.